For my second dish, I'll be making making Korean harissa salad, two ways. I'll be making a, um, a Moroccan and Tunisian carrot, uh, carrot salad. One will be a warm, a warm, a warm salad of carrots. The other will be a cold salad of ribbons of, ribbons of carrots mixed with a harissa vinaigrette. For the next dish, I'm going to make uh, carrots, uh, Moroccan carrot salad, two ways. We're going to have a cold salad and a warm, and a warm, uh, warm salad. We have two two techniques that I'm going to teach you. First, we are going to make harissa. Harissa is a Tunisian or Moroccan chili paste. Um, whereas Koreans use gochujang, it's fermented. Uh, Moroccans and Tunisians and many people all around the, uh, the Arabic Mediterranean, they are uh, they use harissa. Uh, it's going to be a mixture of today. We're going to use gochu garu. Um, if you can find dried, dried gochu, dried Korean green peppers, it'll be a little bit easier, a little bit better. Um, today we have gochu garu, so that's what we're going to use. So I have mixed, I mixed it with water already. So we're going to chop up our garlic. Uh, the way that my chef taught me when I was first learning is to take the blunt side of your knife here, the broad side, put it on, press, down. You ready to get it smashed? You get some of the some of the juices out. You get, I think you get a better garlic flavor. It's already broken. Just chop up your garlic. We're gonna do that with the rest of the four, with the rest of the four, four cloves. Pour it into our, our, our bowl. Scoop it up. How about this one? We have quite a bit. So we're going to take, um, um, we're gonna take about a teaspoon of cumin. You can see here. Mm -hmm. And half a teaspoon of coriander. Here. I prefer to use the whole seeds. Um, I prefer to use the whole seeds. Toast them in, in, in your pan. Just put them in, put the heat on, and just move, move them around until they really start to darken a little bit and start smelling great. Then you will roast them. You will, you're roasting them, then you will grind them up in a mortar and pestle in a blender. A blender works a little bit better and it's easier on your arms. So next we're going to we're going to need some lemon juice and lemon and lemon zest. If you have a microplane grater, break it out and it works great. For this part we have a vegetable peeler. So we're gonna use it. Just peel, slide it on. Lemon zest. You wanna get very little white parts. If you have whites it's not the end of the world, it's just a little, little bit bitter. Move it on. Lay the peel flat. Start sliding it. Cutting off very carefully. Some of the weight. Pull that part off. We don't want that, that's bitter. But as you can see, we have only the zest. Very little whites. This is where all of our lemon oil is going to come from. Once they're in ribbons, you can just chop them like this. We're going to use a blender to see so crush them. So you just need to chop them loosely. It doesn't really matter too much. Go ahead, throw that in. This is a bowl here. Go ahead and squeeze your lemon juice in. It's easier to take these seeds out of a bowl than your paste. Add about half of it in, so lost some left. Add our coriander, add our cumin, mix. As we see right now, it's way too dry for anything that we get more. But that's okay. Add in the garlic. We've used about two cloves of garlic. Next are olive oil. We're gonna mix. Still a little too dry. I don't want to use too much oil. 
Yeah, add a little bit of water. If you got whole whole chilies, use the use the water from soaking your chilies. It'll have more flavor. There's no there's no reason to waste it. Add a pinch of salt. Okay. Okay. Now this is a good a good start. We're gonna start. We're gonna use our blender. Okay, so I've tasted it. it has lemon, garlic flavors, uh, cumin, coriander. If you don't have cumin or coriander, you can leave it out. It'll just not be as complex. Um, if you can find caraway seed, use cumin, coriander, and caraway. It's very delicious. Our cold, our cold salad next. We want to take carrots. We've already, we've already already peeled it. This one we're going to make carrot ribbons. Be very delicate. So I'll go through. Turn it. Take peels of your carrot off. Press hard so it's a little bit thicker. Do this until you have no more carrot. Uh, we have uh, our ingredients. We have some parsley. We use for salad. Some rehydrated raisins. Soak them in some boiling, some boiling water for a little bit. You can actually use the uh, the raisin, the raisin water to add some sweetness to your harissa that we made earlier. We can't use the preserved, the preserved lemon today, but we have some from earlier. So you want to uh, to pull it off. There's a little bit of salt on it, you see? Go ahead and take salt, rinse it off. The salt has soaked into the skin. So pull the flesh off. This part isn't really useful to us. All we want is our uh, soft, bendable peel. And take this, cut it into strips. Very delicate. Yes. Then you can use this for uh, many, many different things. You can mix it with uh, lemon, with uh, yogurt for sauce, use it in stewed meats, lots of uses. Just look online for preserved lemon. First, we're going to make a vinaigrette. We're going to take a little bit of our uh, red wine, red wine vinegar, or maybe a teaspoon in. Two teaspoons, three teaspoons, four teaspoons. Take some of our lemon juice. If you don't like vinegar, use a little bit more lemon juice. Four teaspoons. About half and half is my is my is my preference. If you don't have red wine, red wine vinegar, you can use rice, uh, rice wine vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar. White distilled vinegar is a little bit too harsh. I would use one of the fruit or uh, rice vinegars. So we have our vinegar and the bottle. Finish up with some garlic. Put it in. Make sure it's all mixed. Grab our olive oil. Start whipping that in. Okay. I just want to show you what, what, what this is like at, 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 at this point. You want to have maybe three, uh, three, three times as much oil as you do vinegar. Some, uh, some of my, my Italian chef had two to one, my French chef had four to one. I like to go somewhere in between three to one ratios. I will do a large, I like, like a tablespoon. Uh, we can add a little bit more later too. Tablespoon, large tablespoon and a half. That in. Now, we have some oil in the harissa already. So we want to blend it in before we add the rest, the rest of the oil. We want to look at it, see if it's as thick as you want. It's not quite thick enough, not quite, uh, it'll be a little bit too sour. Add a little bit more vinegar, or sorry, olive oil. When I chop our parsley, I've already, I've already washed this and dried it. You don't want wet parsley in your salad. Go ahead.
You only want to take the leaf parts. You can pull your knife, get all of, get all, all of the stems here, press down. You have almost all leaf on this part. A little bit stuck here, this is fine. It's not going to be too tough. Do that for maybe three or four more sprigs. Like this. Pull. Cut. Pull. Cut. One. A clean bowl. Take some of your carrots. Like this. Put it in. We're gonna make enough for about one serving, maybe two people, depends on how much. Some of your parsley in. Some of your raisins. Then pour your harissa in. Pour a little bit at a time. Don't add too much. It's easier to, it's better to add more later. Just gonna toss the coat. Now, this has vinegar in it. It'll start turning the carrots a little bit soft. Um, and like, uh, it'll be, it'll start leaking, it'll become a little bit less uh, flavorful. So only do this fresh. You can keep it till the next day, but I wouldn't go more than one or two days. But we're gonna taste it. See? It's missing something. Need a little, little bit of sweetness. So uh, we're gonna add, add some uh, some yuja. Uh, so the fruit, the fruit from yuja shop. Yuja kisa. We have some here. We don't want to add too much sweetness from the honey. Just uh, there's a lot of honey are still in the in the fruit. So let's add a little bit of this here. It's already in ribbons. Take some in. Mm -hmm. so pull some up. Pull up. And have a nice little balance. Okay. So in our dish, we see our raisins. We see the red from the harissa. Some yellow from the yuja. Some green from the parsley. I think it's very beautiful. A very beautiful dish. A little bit. A little. A little. A little bit sour, a little bit sour. It works really well for some fatty, some for some fatty meats. The acid cuts uh, for the acid cuts the fat. I think that's very delicious. Okay, so I said we were gonna do two dishes. We have everything else prepared already. So we're going to make a warm carrot salad. Take your carrot. Go ahead and cut it in half. And the quarters, about half will work too. You want to cut them in about a uh, quarter inch thick slices. Mm -hmm. Always stay safe. Go ahead, put them in your strainer. You can lower them in. Okay. Hey, I have already strained our, our carrots. You see that they are still hot. So just keep those in your pan. Take a little oil, pour it in. Turn your heat on. Um, get them warm again. They've cooled off some. We're gonna add a little bit of little bit of garlic. Some garlic. We don't want raw garlic in our dish. It's a little bit too uh, too spicy, a little bit hot. Now, for this part, everything else should be prepped and ready. You don't want it to be chopping while your garlic is burning. Just keep it in the center. Sorry, it's starting to take on some color. At this point, you can add a little bit of salt. How much was it? It got down like 400 per 100 grams. Okay, we're going to uh, roast, toast our uh, harissa. Put it in. Is it smelling nice? Put your carrots in. Coat them. Now, this is a very small batch, but it'll be fine for today. No, it is. I want this one right here. Yeah, I just yeah. So this part, 
We use a lot of hesa and a lot of garlic. Uh, if you don't want it too spicy, too intense, use a, um, a lot more carrots or less hesa. Pull our carrots in. This one. This, this is just to show I'm not actually doing it with these. There you go. It's just to show that's a new so it'll disappear. Uh okay.